Okay, this is exercise 6.3, creating additional partitions. We are going to be, we are working in lab 6, working with disks, which is found in the Windows 7 configuration, part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course in Preparation for Exam 70-680. So in this course, we're going to take, I'm sorry, in this exercise, we're going to continue on with what we were doing with Alice, because she was so thrilled with the idea of storing her data files in separate partitions, and now she wants you to create more partitions on her drive. However, we used up all the available space to create her Alice 1 partition, therefore we must shrink the Alice 1 partition to create room for additional partitions that she wants. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my student. I'm going to take a look at my RWDC as well. Start. I'm going to go to computer management and just take a look here. Here we have disk management. Now, just want to make sure I wasn't missing it somewhere. Okay, so we're back on our student one. Here is our Alice. And according to this, we're only using. We've got 16.1 gig free of 119.2. Of okay, and we're going to go into our disk management. Start. We're going to go into our computer management so we can access our disk management. And you see our Alice is currently at 19.26. Oh, I'm going to open up what the file actually contains. So we have start calculator. So right now we have 19.26. 2 minus 16.1 equals. I don't think I did that right. 19.2 minus 16.1. So we have about, I'm using about 3.1 gig of that drive. <clears throat> so we're going to shrink the volume. And the textbook says to shrink it one, three, eight, four, eight. Shrink. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and right click the unallocated space, call it new simple volume, and then next, next, next. And we're going to call this Alice 2. And then next. And then finish. Okay, so now we have Alice 2 created. Now, in the previous one, we started out as a FAT32 and then used the command prompt to change it to an NTFS. This time we went directly into an NTFS. All right, and that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next video will be going to be mounting a volume.